Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we've heard about Massachusetts. Let's talk about California. <laughs> yeah, California is very proud of the recent scientific breakthrough at the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Lab. I particularly want to recognize Livermore's director, uh, Kim Budil, and her team who made history for achieving fusion ignition and unlocking, Mr. Chairman, this new milestone for the future of clean energy. Uh, now, last week, the NRC voted unanimously to create a new regulatory pathway for fusion energy, separate and apart from the existing framework around fission energy. So, uh, Mr. Chair, we'll just go straight to the top. Can you describe how the separate regulatory pathway will provide the certainty needed to ensure the uh, uh, fusion energy can continue to advance in the years ahead? Excuse me. Thank you, Senator. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward. I have a, a planned trip to Livermore and, and uh, know uh, Dr. Bedill uh, fairly well and look forward to catching up and seeing that facility again uh, in June. Um, so by establishing this in a, what we call a byproduct material framework, it really recognizes the fact that there's not that and there's not the risk associated with an, with an ongoing fusion reaction that oftentimes with these facilities, um, if you have a loss of power event, the plasma just dissipates and that there's actually a relatively low inventory of nuclear material, oftentimes deuterium or tritium, something that poses much less risk uh, to workers and the public than, say, a, um, uh, uh, a typical fission reactor, although those operate safely, of course, as well. Um, so by doing that and by saying that we can regulate the materials involved or like a particle accelerator, say, used in a research facility or a hospital, then that provides the certainty um, uh, and the knowledge of de uh, technology developers that they will be then kind of outside of a lot of the big power reactor type requirements, that the focus really will be on the materials uh, used in those uh, things as well and hopefully then allows that technology to you know, develop and reach commercial scale, and we can satisfy our our safety requirements. All in the next three weeks. All in the next three weeks. You got it. <laughs> that was a joke for people watching at home. Uh, on a serious note, though, can you describe the level of resources you'll need to adequately support this new pathway? And obviously, if additional support from Congress is necessary, please uh, articulate that as well. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, we have the resources we need. That was incorporated into our FY24 budget request. We have some resources in 23 to get started on this. Wonderful. Of course, as you noted, the commission just gave the staff direction, so they're going to get rolling here in pretty short order. Wonderful, wonderful. 